Hi everyone, welcome to North Star Knife Reviews. Uh, I'm out in the backyard today, so the neighbor's dog was barking. We'll see what happens regarding the noise, but um, realized I hadn't done any vintage knives for a while, and I have gotten some in recently. Uh, one of those uh, things I got in was a lot of four. There were two hammer brands and two unbranded. I uh, got it for about $20, including tax and shipping, so about $5 a piece. And so I think we're gonna do a little series of uh, vintage knife reviews. Uh, I'm gonna start out with this one. This is a medium toothpick. And this is by Hammer Brand. You can see the Hammer Brand USA. Uh, this tank stamp indicates that it was produced uh, sometime from 1942 to 1955. Um, now, Hammer Brand started out as an imprint of New York Knife Company. They sold it, uh, that brand, to Imperial uh, in the 30s, I believe about 36. Um, Imperial took it over. Uh, New York Knife Company actually, I believe, went out of business in 31. Sold this to Imperial in 36. Imperial produced uh, the Hammer Brands up until about 1955. Now, this, as you can see, is a medium toothpick. Uh, sorry, got a plane that's going to go right overhead. One of the hazards of living near an airport. So, sorry about that. Uh, one of the hazards of living on the flight path here. Um, you can see this uh, knife is, as I said, a medium toothpick. It comes in about you know, just about uh, four and a quarter to four and a half inches long, closed. It is, as a lot of those hammer brands uh, were from Imperial, shell construction, which means that you don't have a separate bolster and everything. You simply have the shell that is put onto the knife with these little tabs. The blade on this knife is about three and a half inches long, cutting edge a little bit over three, maybe three and a quarter inches. Um, you know, you can see there's some corrosion on this, although it doesn't look like it was ever used much. Um, you know, it's in reasonably good shape. I haven't cleaned this up at all uh, since I got it. Um, it's got the cracked ice celluloid uh, little wrapper on here with the shell construction you've got this is all one piece of metal and it's hollow on the inside and there's just a, a plastic or celluloid wrap that's glued inside and then uh, you know shows up outside this was a much cheaper way to make knives and Imperial patented this in the 30s boy we've just got a lot of planes going overhead today I'm apologize I don't think I might be able to do any more out here this afternoon Let's finish up this one and then uh, if I do any more today, I will go inside to do them. Um, but as you can see, uh, it does have the Hammer Brand Tang stamp on here. Uh, the, if it does not have the USA, it was pre-World War I. The USA came on in 42. Nothing on the other side. This is a very thin blade, uh, as you can see. And it does have a little bit of blade play, which is not uncommon with these shell-handled knives. Um, so this is not something you'd use for a heavy-duty task. My thought is, you know, this is inexpensive. I kind of like the vintage look. My thought is this could make just a decent little steak knife to carry with you. You know, um, not going to be putting too much pressure on it. Be something kind of cool to have. So... Hope you liked this uh, little review. I apologize for all those planes. Didn't expect that many to go over in such a short time. Um, thanks for watching. Have a good day. I'll catch you next time.